Hey, how you doing folks and fellow photographers? I just want to do this quick video here just to show you um, how what I, the technique that I've used to cut down the Kodak uh, rat and gel filters um, for use with the um, with the Lee filter system. So first I'm you know I'm still shooting film like all of you guys. I'm really excited about the new Sony's that are coming out. But um, right now I chose to use the uh, Minolta Maxim uh, 9Ti along with the 85mm uh, uh, limited lens that I got years ago off a Japanese auction. Uh, it's a great, great lens. And, and I bought all the um, Kodak rat and filters that I could that matches. Here's the Kodak Rattan filters here. And what I did was I bought all of the ones that, if you can see that, for the chart back here. The Lee filter system, I have to say, is very professional. Uh, it comes with a little bag here. And I added an additional slot here. This is the Lee filter medium wide hood in the US it's equivalent to the universal um, Lee hood overseas but I added a third filter in there so if I want to utilize um, um, a what do you call it neutral density filter along with my uh, color filters here so it's really easy to clip on first you obviously need a lens adapter ring which is right here this is a 72 millimeter lens adapter ring. I'm just trying to get it close so you guys can see it here. So it just twists on and you take the filter here, hold it tight, don't drop it. And there's a little button right here that you pull off and it pushes in to hold it. So then you can obviously twist it however you want. You can pull this out depending upon what you need. And I do have, you can use any type of 105 millimeter um, filter. I happen to have the B&H one here. And I bought the internal um, adapter screw here for the polarizer filter that this screws onto. I mean you can use Lee's, you can use B&W, whatever brand you want. I just happened to get a good deal on the uh, B&W, so I use that. But the purpose, really, of this uh, video here is to show you what I've done to cut these filters down. Uh, first things first is because these are gel filters. Again, I've read all your posts, everyone's posts out there. You know they're prone to get dirty. So thanks to my buddies over at Ritz, I don't know, I was I, I became one of their members for a year. And I asked them where they got their gloves that they use to um, clean, uh, to handle photos. So they gave me um, a set of these. So I use these. I'm sure you can buy these online. Things first. The Kodak filters are 100 millimeter um, squared, which they have to be cut down. So when I bought these plastic frames from Lee here, um, it says right on the cover, let me see if I can zoom up here, um, it says you have to cut an eighth of an inch off two adjacent sides. For the Kodak, because they're bigger than the Lee filters, you actually have to cut a quarter of an inch um, to two adjacent sides. So in order to make sure that I get that accurate, I cut from just a piece of cardboard from my old calendar here. Um, this measures up to be 93 millimeters. So it's just about a quarter of an inch per side that I, t that I took off. I don't know if you can see that, but it's about 93 millimeter. So I use this. I use just these standard um, clips here for paper. And when I put the filter in between this, and this which I show you, I use this to clip it down to hold it tight. It's a pain, but you know, you gotta do that. 
All right, I'm back. So I just used my Swiss Champier. I bought this years ago when I was a kid. But these scissors are actually perfect to cut the filters. Because, I don't know, I think it's just such a low profile. Um, they're nice to cut the filters. So, right now we'll cut the um, ADA filter. And it says here on the back of the Kodak filters to keep the temperature. These should be handled around 78 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Special aluminum foil, which after I put the leaf casing on it, the leaf frame, I put them all back the same way I took them out. So here is the ADA filter. Okay. So I line it up to the two sides that I didn't cut because those are machine cut and they're going to be more perfect so I line that up to the corner carefully I had to do 32 of these I bought so it was a pain and then I put this piece on top and like I said I use these clips Standard paper clip here. I lock it down. Take this. Lock it down. And then I use the scissors here, like I said, for my Swasami knife. And I just cut along the edge very carefully. And the whole point that I have to cut these at 93 millimeters is they fit in between the posts on the leaf frames which I will show you in one moment. Okay. So that's one side. One side cut. Now I'm going to cut that other side off. This is a boring part watching this. Okay. So after I do that, I remove one of these clips and I slowly pull this out just to clean up some of the sides. Like you see that little uh, strand there that's sticking out. Just try to clean up the sides a little bit here. Okay, double check this side. So, I mean, you might find some better scissors to use, but I've experimented with some other different types of scissors, and these ones seem to be work fine for me. So, the whole thing about the Lee frames that I like is that they're made of plastic. You can get these at, uh, you know, I got these from B&H, but you can get them wherever you want online. And they have a little Lee symbol up the top, which I think you can see there. Um, so Lee, Lee symbol on that side. But what I'm trying to show you is they got male and female prongs on here. Like that's a male and we connect it to the female. And again, the reason why you take off almost seven millimeters on the frames is so they fit in between the posts. So again, here's the filter that I cut. And I have to place it in between the filters. Or in between the, um, the male prongs. And what I do is I lay flat on a piece, on a table here. So I just make sure the Lee name on top and the Lee name on top, they match up. And so 
sorry, my dog's barking about that. So again, I, I experimented with various types of pliers. The reason why I like these is because it had just the very tip of it to crimp it. And what I did when I matched the filters up with the male and female end, I would slowly go around and just apply a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure to each male and female end until I heard a snap. That I don't think is the best way to do it. I actually now think it's better just to use the end of this on a flat piece of table like I'm at and go around slowly and push them all in. Alright, so we zoomed up here and like I said, instead of crimping around each side here with this, I actually just use the other end, other end here and I go around very slowly to make sure I hear them click. And you want to make sure that the filter frame is in between the posts on the leaf filter. I'm just pushing down right where I see the female holes, turning it. So I just went around just to clamp all the male ends into the female ends. And I just push down on the pliers get that done. So now, just to recap, I cut my my um, template to 93 millimeter. The original filter was 100 millimeter. I cut off approximately a quarter inch per side to make this the 93 millimeter length. I locked it down with the standard um, paper can use what you want. I don't know what kind of clamps they call this, paper clamp. And I locked it up with this piece here. So then you take the nice camera, you hold on to it tight, and they should slide right in. Okay. There we go. Okay, so again, you can pull this out. One final thought that I want to let you guys know on is when you're using, this happens to be the Minolta 6 uh, flash meter. Um, they don't go into filters too much for the manual for the um, 6, but if you get the, pull the manual offline for the 4, Minolta meter 4, it actually goes deeper into the filter, but if you hold the ISO, every time I click the down button here, this that equals one filter, or one third. So if I added one filter and it said reduce it by one third, it brings it down to 80 ISO. And the f-stop's 8.0 and the time is one second. And if I had added two filters and it was another one third, it brings it down to 64 ISO. So hopefully you like this video. Again, this is just a quickie. I, this was one take, as you can probably tell. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you do want to go down the Rattan filter route and you wanted to use these Lee plastic filters, again, 93 millimeters square is what you want the filter to be cut at. So they go in between the um, posts here. And then pop this on top. Make sure the Lee sign, which is right here, matches the Lee sign on this side. Put the filter in between the posts and push down on all the prongs all the way around. And then, hey, then you'll have it. So when you're out in the field and you are taking some color measurements, you'll have a complete set of these in your, in your bag and you'll be set to go. So again, thanks for watching. Take care.